So basically, you're uh, you're you're you call yourself a Christian because what you got baptized? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so um, you're Church of England Anglican. So, do you think that you can become a Christian by joining a church? Is that how you become a Christian? Uh, I don't think necessarily. I think some people people do it different in different ways. Okay, but what? To, you don't have to go to. You, you can just read, read scripture, read, read book. You know, All read. right. Well, what do, what does the Bible say about salvation? Um, I don't have the text to hand, but it's. I, I can't remember the exact uh, bit of scripture. But, but, yeah. Well, but, I mean, like, what does the Bible say about the way in which we get saved? So you're saved through, through Jesus Christ, through, through, through knowing Jesus Christ, through knowing. Okay, so um, the Bible says that we're dead, spiritually we're dead in our sin. And so would you agree that dead people can't just go and wake up, decide to take a bath, that they need to be awakened before? Yeah, yeah I, so I, 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 I They would need, like for example, when God made uh, Adam out of the clay, he breathed into him and he became a living soul. Yes. And then Adam sinned against God, he died spiritually, that's yes. what it says, yes. yeah? Yes, yes, yes. So, in order for us, who are spiritually dead, we need God to breathe life into us, alright? Now, Adam didn't wake up, go and dip himself in water before Jesus breathed life into him, no. alright? So, the Bible says that we're saved by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. How do you receive grace from God? Um... Well, from my perspective, receiving grace, it's, you know, reading the scriptures, praying. So you have to do taking, work? Taking the sacrament, you know, okay, receiving so, the sacrament. All right, so basically you, you do works to receive grace from God? Um, yes. What is by, grace? By, 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 um, by, by uh, speaking the word of God, by... So basically, so salvation is not by grace through saved by grace through faith in Jesus salvation is by grace through faith plus works so Jesus has to work in order so not Jesus but you have to do a work so you in order for you to receive grace from God you have to do a sacrament is that faith in Jesus I mean, I mean, it's a work, is it not? But Romans 11, 5, 6 says that if it's of works and it's not of grace, or grace is no longer grace. So you can't have both. So grace is given as unmerited favour and it comes through our faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 8 that we're saved by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. This is not of ourselves, it is a gift from God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible says in Romans chapter 4 that Abraham believed God and his faith was credited to him as righteousness. Titus 3, 4 says we're saved not because of the righteous things that we do, but through the washing regeneration of the Holy Spirit. So you're dead spiritually and you need God to breathe life into you. You need God to regenerate you. And the way he does that is through faith. So when you believe in Jesus, when you put your faith and trust in Jesus, and it's the real Jesus, so you have to believe Jesus is God. When you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, so you believe that in here. And that means that you don't believe that you have to do any works to receive salvation then Jesus will make you alive give you the gift of the Holy Spirit and reconcile you back to God so that you can have relationship not religion so all the time you're believing the sacrament save you you haven't come to understand the gospel yet you haven't come to understand that Jesus paid for your sin personally and that only by grace through faith in what he did for you 2,000 years on the cross can you have salvation so you haven't understood the gospel which means in my opinion you haven't exactly you haven't had you haven't got salvation you haven't been born again because back Baptism doesn't save us, Jesus Christ does, and it's through our faith in Him. So a lot of people say, I believe in Jesus, but they still believe that He died, you know, that he died for the sins of the whole world. But then they think they have to do good works to be saved. But when you put your faith and trust in what Jesus did, and you recognize that I'm a sinner in need of a savior, and that Jesus died for my sin, was buried and raised on the third day, then Jesus himself will regenerate you, make you alive, give you the Holy Spirit, and reconcile you back to God. You'll have relationship with him, not religion. It's not about what we do. It's about believing and trusting in what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. And when you do that, God will save you, regenerate you, make you alive, give you the Holy Spirit, and it will be God in you that will teach you and enable you to live godly and forsake worldly lusts. It's all about what Jesus did 2,000 years ago on the cross it's got nothing to do with joining church or religion or sacraments or any other thing 
That's not how we get saved. That's not how we get born again. Born again is a work of God. It's supernatural. It's regeneration. God says in Ezekiel 36, 26, I will take their heart of stone. I will give them a heart of flesh. I will put the Holy Spirit in them and I will be the one to enable them to walk in my ways. So salvation is dependent upon Christ and not dependent upon what we do. So the Church of England is a false religion. It was started by King Henry VIII because he, he had issue with the Pope. Roman Catholicism is false. Jehovah Witness, Mormons, Islam, all of them rubbish. What God wants is relationship. You have to be born again and that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Um, I agree with that up to a point, but I've, but, I've seen Apologetics London does videos on how, how, how praying to Mary is some kind of... Yeah, it is. It's it. Because the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, that there's one intercessor between God and man, and that's the man Christ Jesus. There's one story. Every Bible in the, every story in the Bible is a foreshadow of Jesus. So the story of Adam, the story of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of them, it points us to Jesus. And if you go back to King Solomon, he being a foreshadow of Jesus, he became king. And his brother exhorted himself. He wanted to be king. And he went to the mother, and he said to him, can you ask Solomon? He said to the mother, can you ask Solomon if I could marry Abishag? And Solomon killed him because he was trying to manipulate the king to get what he wants. That's a warning to Catholics not to pray to Mary because the king will kill you for it because you're going, you're going through Mary when Jesus is God, he's omnipresent, he can hear you. I think whatever religion you are, whether you're Islam... No, no, no. See, that's, what, that's the thing. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father but through me. I was saying... I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an ecumenical, so I, be, I believe that all... See, you're a heretic then, so you're not really a Christian. No, 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 you're not really a Christian, you've got to be born again. Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me. He, I believe that Muslims, Jews, Christians, are all should all come together. That's not true, so God says that Jesus said, Jesus said that the road that leads to life was narrow, I, few I things will find it. You don't respect Jesus. You don't respect Jesus. Jesus said the road that leads to life was narrow. A few people there find it. Oh, I don't, I but the road to hell is broad and wide and many be there and are on it. So I was completely right about you. You haven't met Jesus. You don't know the true way of salvation. You're not born again of God's spirit. And you're thinking your good works save you. Religion is not of God. He wants relationship. Jesus came to reconcile mankind back to God because of the fall of Adam and Eve. And so Jesus is the only way in which we can receive salvation. And so when you teach that all roads lead to heaven, you go against what Jesus said. When Jesus said that the road that leads to life was narrow, few find it, the road to hell is broad and wide, many enter on not it. All, sorry, not all religions worship Jesus. You They're not saved. They're not saved. The devil is a deceiver. They're not saved. Well, some Muslims are very faithful Muslims. It, no, it doesn't matter how the faithful. Are. They're faithful in their they're faithful in their deception. In their, they're faithful in their deception. They're deceived. Religion is not of God. I've told you he wants relationship. The only way a person can be saved, not by their good deeds. Go back to the fall of Adam and Eve. One sin Adam committed against God and he had to leave Eden because God is holy, man is not. You need a blood atonement for your sin. Jesus Christ paid for that sin. He's the only way anyone can receive salvation. The devil is a deceiver. He deceives people through false religion. He doesn't want people to be saved. And when you teach, when you teach, doesn't matter if you believe in God, you, you don't believe in Jesus. The Bible says if you don't have Jesus, then you do not have the Father. Or you say Father, right? But you don't have Jesus. So if you believe in God, you don't believe in Jesus then? Yes, that's what Jesus said. Yes, 100%. Jesus, Jesus said, yeah, you do. Yeah, Jesus no. said in John 8, 24, unless you believe he that I am here, you will die in your right? sin. Jesus took on human flesh. Jesus became a man. God took on human flesh. God humbled himself, okay. took on the form of a servant, so that he could take on himself our sin, so that he could reconcile us back to God. Forget that I'm a Muslim, okay? I have no religion, let's say. The idea that... Sorry. Yeah. The idea that God changed himself to a man. Yeah, please. Okay. That can be killed. That can be harmed. God did that for you.